All right, everybody, we're back over here at the museum day. It's been been a while since we've been over here. Everybody's had personal things they had to take care of. I got Curtis back over here today. He's over here working on the injector pump on the deuce and a half. We got Bob over here. Hello, Bob. Hello. He's over there working on the fuel tank for the 151. We're gonna try to get that project wrapped up today. We got the boss down here supervising. As we stated earlier, fuel pump had gone out of this. We just put a pickup tube on the bottom of the original factory fitting where the fuel pump went. He's putting this tank all back together. We're going to put a different style electric pump. Mounted it in there in the, in the 151. Curtis is over here readjusting some fuel lines. We are unconverting this fuel injection pump. These multi-fuel engines had what was called a fuel density compensator on the injection pump, which would allow you to run any kind of fuel in here that burned. Um, and some of these had been bypassed, essentially. Uh, so you would only be able to run diesel fuel, um, but you had less things to go wrong, essentially. And we were just wanting to put it back to factory original, factory specs, so we know for sure if this pump is working or not. And it, it involves switching some of these rubber lines around and switching fittings back and forth between our, our pump that originally came off of this truck and our donor pump. So, uh, But well, we're hoping to make some smoke with this bad boy today, so... Lord willing. Lord willing? Yeah. All right. As soon as we get back into some more action, we'll start this up again. All right, Bob back here. Putting the old fuel tank back in this one. Same procedure as the other two. Now we just need to figure out where we want to mount that pump. Where's our our vet tube? Or did it not have one in it? No, oh. it did not have one in it. That'd be why. Hmm. Yeah. Do you want to put the pump in here? I don't know. Maybe, where's, that, where's that pump at? Maybe put it on the firewall out here under the hood. Hide it. That's what I was wondering, yeah. All right. As soon as we figure out where we want the pump, Yep, as soon as we figure that out, we'll come back. All right, we picked our new mounting location.
There's an LED light. You see it on the you screen. Getting the flicker? Getting the flicker on the screen. about perfect. Can we make our ground? We can make our ground. <laughs> no eyelets. Hmm? No eyelets. That's what the pocket knife from the twisty motion is for, right? Is that what that's for? Hmm. Hey Curtis. You got any eyelets? Any what? Any electrical eyelets? Yeah. And a crimping tool? Yep. While he's getting those, I'm gonna come over here. These military vehicles, they have a little different kind of Electrical outlet here. Plug. You need male or female? Male. Am I allowed to say that now? These are the male. No, oh, not these are. Those are the females. Nope, these are the females. Sorry. They got a little different kind of plug. You guys can see that. And go down in there. And here's the male side. The male plug. They're waterproof and watertight. We're going to go back here. Sounds like the rain set in. Go over here. Where you going, Curtis? What do you got? Curtis is over here working on batteries. They have this fellow going. That was hit the screw right there. Oh, this one right here, I bet. Yep. <laughs> okay. We got a straight bolt.
All right. He's going to put the grounding wire for the pump there. Put the two fuel lines on. Fix this before I forget about it. put new ends on the wires when we come back he'll have her completed all right everybody we're back out here on the 151 again you got Bob over there working on that changing the fuel pump out as I stated before we put a brand new fuel pump on that and it didn't work right out of the box so we got another brand new one we got the old deuce and a half sitting outside running. Curtis is standing guard. John sitting over there. Keep an eye on everybody. See what Bob's working on here. We put power to this new pump before we hook it up just to make sure it's gonna work. I can't believe that one did it. We just wanna clip the ends off and bring no ends. Well, I left them over here. Did you? Yeah. They're sitting over there on the weasel. Another buck and a half. That's what I was going to say. I got buck connectors. Do you want to use a buck connector? No, we can. Do we got this into that? Or? No, I don't have that. I just got this one. Okay. Yeah, if we want Say, to. I, I brought some butt connectors along and we could just do that for the time being. Whatever you think. Didn't work. We told It just pulled. Yeah. You put a power to it, that's all it did. You go thump, one beat. That's it. Back over here to the 151. This is a brand new fuel pump. It's never worked. I got another one here we're going to put it on. We got Bob here working on it. We got the deuce and a half sitting out there just running. We put some injector cleaner and some fuel system cleaner in the fuel tank. Just letting her sit out there and run.
Now we're back over at the 151. Again. Old Bob. Got to do a little re-editing here. I think I violate some copyright infringements. <laughs> this copyright. is the old pump. Actually, it's a brand new pump that never worked out of the box. So we got another new pump to put in. And he's working on changing that out. We got the deuce and a half sitting out there running. We put some radiator flush in it, put some stuff in the fuel system, clean the injectors, clean the fuel lines out, blew that new fuel pump up. You see Curtis and John up there at the door keeping an eye on it. Bob's back here working. Hopefully this old jewel will start up. Yeah. Right. We'll be able to finish this video out. We've all been working on it since what, January? <laughs> yeah, probably. Between the fuel tank and then the pump now. If anybody out there knows where Curtis put the sending unit, could you please let us know in the comments? I think we ought to try the rice thing. No, I think we'll leave the rice thing alone. <laughs> Come on. We had somebody tell us to boil rice until it turns to mush and then use it to plug the hole. The Curtis took the fuel tank on to get it clean. He took the sending unit out of it five months ago. Doesn't remember where he put the sending unit. So like I said, if anybody else knows where he put it, let us know in the comments. That's right. I think that's pretty funny. Trees. Is there any in it? Nope. All right, we're gonna go get some batteries put in it, and then we'll see if we can get her to start up. All right, plugging back in the electrics. Bob's got the batteries in it. We got the new fuel pump on. We'll have Bob turn the switch on. We'll see if this thing makes noise.
after about eight years of sitting, she runs again. Ain't got no gas in it. What? Ain't got no gas in it. Huh? Ain't got no gas in it. Gas or diesel? So if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss another episode. Make sure you guys leave us some comments too. We're getting a lot of viewers but nobody's leaving comments. We need some comments. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. So until next time, stay tuned.